In this video, we're going to learn how to compute differences between the first and the last visit. This is program 16.4. So the next, the next thing that we're going to do is to compute differences in three variables, uh, part rate, SPP, and DVP, from the first visit to the last visit. So basically, we want the, the overall change from the first to the last uh, time that the patient visited the clinic. So the primary tool to solve this problem is to use retained variables. Variables defined in assignment statements are automatically set to a missing value at the top of the data step. By using a retained statement, you can instruct the program not to set these variables to a missing value because you're retaining them. This is one way to have the program remember a value from some previous observation. If you set a retained variable equal to the value from the first visit, then the retained value will be available when you are processing the last visit, allowing you to compute a difference, a difference between whatever variables you're interested in, right? So that's the strategy that we use in this program. Again, first, we start by sorting the data set. Good practice, that's, you know, that's something that you always need to do in these cases. Now, I'm going to call this new data set first, last, because it's just looking at the difference between the first and the last uh, visits. Set clinic, well, we're reading from the data set clinic that is storing inside SAS already. Uh, now, I'm saying retain first heart rate, first SBP, and first DVP. So, by PT number. Okay, so again, this statement is super important because it creates the first and the last variables, which are the tools that we use to deal with repeated, um, you know, observations that have multi uh, data sets that have multiple observations per subject. Okay, and the subject is identified by the patient number. That's why we said by patient number. Now this creates the first dot pt NUM, the first and the last variables for patient number. Okay, now the first statement here if both first patient number and last patient number are equal to one, delete that because it's just a you know a patient that a pe that came only once, so there is no point on computing any differences for that patient. Now, if the first variable is equal to one for any of the patients, then do the following. Make first heart rate equal to heart rate. So basically we're storing the heart rate of the first time the, pa the, uh, the patient shows up in the data set into the variable first heart rate, which we are retaining. Okay, so we're retaining the heart rate for the first visit. Now we also create the first SBP as the SBP for the first visit, okay, when first PT NUM is equal to one, right? Same thing for the DVP for the first visit. And so this part here will, will assign the heart rate SBP and DVP values for the first visit to first heart rate, first SBP, first DVP, which we are retaining. We're saving those values uh, for later so we can find you know the difference between the first and the last okay now another if statement if last PT NUM then do meaning if the last variable for a particular observation is equal to one meaning that is the last visit for a certain patient then do the following compute difference at HR as the heart rate minus first heart rate. So the heart rate for this, which is the heart rate in the last visit, minus the already stored first heart rate that we retained, okay? Which is basically the heart rate in the first visit. Same thing for SBP and DVP. This will give you the difference in heart rate first, uh, heart rate between the first and the last visit 
difference in SBP between the first and the last visit and difference in DVP between the first and the last difference. And then we output these variables, okay? The differences. And then run it and then print it. And we're using PT and UM as the ID. Uh, we did that in the previous programs. I just didn't mention it. But that's something that we commonly do. And then run. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, for patient one, so this is the date of the last visit. Okay, height, weight, heart rate, SBP, DVP for the last visit. Now, first heart rate, that's the retained value from, you know, when the first variable was equal to 1, right, when it was true. Uh, first SBP, first DVP, and the differences, okay? Same thing for patient number 3, okay? So we see first heart rate was 78, and the heart rate in the last visit was 77, so the change was negative 1 decreased by one point. Or for example, SBP was 116 in the last visit. It was 118 on the first visit. So the difference is actually okay, SBP, DVP. Oh, interesting. Positive too? First, oh. Yeah, okay. So first SBP, SBP 116, 118 minus 116, positive 2. Let's see how we wrote the code. Is, yes. Oh, we took, okay, so as you can see, we took first SBP minus SBP. So this is first minus last instead of last minus first. You can do it either way. You just have to know where the way you took the difference. That's why we got a positive number and not a negative, which is what I was expecting. So going back to that, we took the difference as um, first minus final. So 118 minus 116, that's positive too. 